Skip. Hey YouTube, this is Angie and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. Today we have 10 scary videos, too scary for this world. I bet you cannot guess who it's by. I'm not even gonna say. I'm not even gonna say. I bet you guys can't guess. Put it down in the comment section below. <laughs> Scary videos come from the most frightening uh, places in the world. Okay. Prepare Let's yourself. Go. Prepare us. A creepy dark road in India looks like the perfect place for a paranormal dash cam video. But not everything has oh, to be. Oh, I forgot I got encounter. my washer going. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna go shut that door. Keep going. Should I pause? Hold on. I'm sorry, cat. Don't get afraid. All right, guys. My bad. My bad. My bad. Is that better? I would gladly welcome an old-fashioned ghost sighting compared to what they've just caught on camera. Anyway, this still image taken at 29 seconds says it all. The jungle cat is fully oh, outstretched damn. and trying to make a meal of them. This looks like a well-practiced move that might have worked in the past. Oh yeah, and the person recording should have definitely alerted the moped instead of letting them blindly pass into harm's way. Damn. On May 26, 2019, a frightening sight was caught on a roof cam over the skies of South Australia. Forget about shooting stars. This meteorite has the force of a nuclear device and is far from something you'd ever wish on. The only thing that saved Australia Australia was the high altitude. The strange light burns up in the sky's atmosphere mm. before it could reach them. But that's not what Hi. always happens. In 2013, a similar mm. event happened over Russia and messed I love up it thousands hot, but damn. of nowhere. They are really lucky that wasn't the case on this night, especially considering this video was caught on camera over an Australian like hospital. Them. This video is super creepy because it's yet another thing beyond our control that can wipe us out at any given moment. I have reset the alarm multiple times, but it's activated from different areas. See, I'm a little spooked, so I've actually turned the lights on. The alarm repeatedly goes off. My alarm does the same oh, shit, no, no matter what I do. Hold on. Aaron? If this cuts off, oh, I'm sorry. It only lets me do like 18 minutes, and I keep freaking talking. See, YouTube, I said freaking. I said freaking. Mm. I'm a winner. I'm a mm -hmm. I'm a win. Okay. What was I talking about? Shit. I don't know what I was talking about. Oh, my alarm, no matter what I do. I've had I've talked to the company, they've reset everything, they've they've done all kinds of shit, right? I cannot fix it. It's it right now it says that my sliding glass door is open and so is my window in in the cave. Yeah. Yeah. Paranormal Security 9886 is the name of a YouTuber who works night shift patrolling an office complex that's so haunted, he's almost gotten used to the activity. Um, it sucks when you get used to it. The radio right there was on. The chair moves all the freaking time. It's moving right now. It seems like the ghost is walking around, setting off different zone alarms and throwing things. The chair moves, alarms are going off, and this thing is moving. And like, I don't, absolutely don't. He goes on to explain that the figure in this painting has been seen around the building. I don't know. What do you guys think? Who used to reside here is before he like that was rolling with me? Into an or is he office. legit? The picture gives me weird vibes and could be haunted. This break room television reflects light from an open fridge, but is clearly turned off. I mean, it's just bizarre things that go on here. And it's just really weird. And it just seems like the more I talk about it, I mean, maybe he's 
holding the remote control or something, but that still doesn't explain all of the other bizarre paranormal activity caught on tape in this video. Like he says, the more he talks about the strange events, the more power he seems to give to whatever's causing it. That is it. true. But that has been that is that true. Has moved Don't give it power. The chair, almost like somebody's sitting down, but like all you gotta really do is just go over there and like move the... Uh, Based on all this evidence caught on tape, I'd have to say this place is almost certainly haunted. Austin is nervous with anticipation over exploring the haunted Windsor Hotel in Georgia, a 24-hour paranormal <gasps> investigation challenge that will leave all of them freaked out soon enough. A young person once fell down an elevator shaft in the early 1900s, and the place has been haunted ever since. Her ghost has been seen in hotel mirrors. Objects often move on their own. Austin isn't sure if he believes the paranormal rumors Better until weird things are caught on camera they've left running overnight. Keys and a wallet fall off the dresser while everyone <laughs> is asleep. She was gonna Both bounce. objects are planted securely on an even surface and have no <laughs> she was gonna to bounce. drop unless it was a ghost or a string. I don't see either, so I'm not sure what to think about this video at this point. She but tried. things are creepy so far. One of them wakes up and goes over to investigate the bizarre occurrence. What's caught on camera next is downright strange. As they are picking up the wallet and keys, a lamp clicks off. The noise sounds exactly like the button on their lamp. You heard? Listen. You can literally hear the flavor. Something had to literally physically turn that off. So there's no doubt that a lamp. I don't know. Is his on. left arm the over there? Question or not is if it's the one that's in front of Was them. Was his left arm if there, there when it clicked? If there were four beds in this room, then I feel like there would be a second lamp behind them off camera. Maybe they were turning that one off to make the clicking noise. Still, an overwhelming number of people agree this is paranormal. 682 to 15 as of the time of this video and given the hotel's haunted history i trust in what they saw and wouldn't be surprised if it was real a it probably is investigation channel called ghosts of britain think Never they've heard met of their match while exploring one of the scariest haunted places in their corner of the world an abandoned house with an unsettling atmosphere and more creepy good. things Come in it than you out. can imagine on the table, they find creepy pictures left behind by someone mm. young. A family must have lived here. The drawing and the lone meat hook in the corner do not pair well. Somehow, I doubt that it was used to hang plants. They lay down a motion detector next to a toy for whoever made the picture I to play so with. Much of this. We want to try and make sense out of this place. We want to know. We want to know. About oh, his shit, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. It isn't long before problem. someone takes them up on their creepy invitation. And that's when things get really scary, even for a team of ghost hunters. Brianna. Mm. Did you see that? The bear was just, just pushed over. Oh, and the bear it says was just Brianna. pushed over. Do you know what? People are going to scream fake at this, you know? They think no one will believe this ghost video is real, but I think it's possible. Their equipment reads out the word Brianna, and then the toy falls over like a paranormal entity trying to pick it up. If it was on a string, then the object should have fallen towards them, but it doesn't. It True. falls the opposite way. Perhaps the ghost of someone small is still trapped Unless in this abandoned there's somebody house, or at least that's what the evidence that would wall, suggest. You know, on the other Even side of that wall, and they pulled the, the string. Whole security cam of a possible haunted bedroom Behind white the door? lights are visible know. ghost orbs to some but probably bugs judging from the abundance of mosquito netting over the bed things get creepy when a transparent person appears at oh, one damn. minute and 28 seconds two seconds later the figure disappears under mysterious circumstances probably inside Maybe the camera is messing up but i don't think so glitch or not the average person will still be able to recognize an outline of themselves this person has no idea who this stranger was and fears they've had a creepy encounter with a yes. ghost was this Absolutely. sighting real? 
It could be CGI, but you still have to wonder if this house is haunted by paranormal activity, rob of urban ghosts, that urban was exploration. Creepy. That one was creepy. That one, I for sure believe. Like, it gives me goosebumps. I got goosebumps, and I don't know if it's just because my house, if you guys know, you know, my house is haunted. Um, I've been ignoring it, and it does help. Stuff still happens. They still show their, that they're here. But uh, the craziness is mellow. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll do a paranormal video coming up here. I don't know. Let's go. Jen challenges himself to withstand 30 minutes of the paranormal without getting scared of this haunted place in the woods. Creepy things are soon caught on camera. Uh, I don't believe these guys. Sorry. I like them though. Like Joe. Cool as hell. Do I think they fake? Rob's paranormal worries are just I've starting watched the to shape. begin. Uh, my camera battery's already You guys haven't heard of the shape. Check him out. He's talking about how his fully charged battery is mysteriously half drained. When a woman's voice softly talks about taking lives, strange red lights flash in the corner when she speaks. Mm. Hello? Fake. He also has two potential ghost sightings outside while listening for more EVPs. Oh, yeah, because they show themselves that often. First, this strange object disappears in the distance, followed by a possible ghost orb up close. Overall, I think Rob's findings are beyond creepy and probably real. No. Coltsman 210 posted the creepiest doorbell camera video ever on r slash paranormal reddit with one simple question. What is it? Oh, is that a chair moving? Why does this chair start rocking, he writes, adding that his brother gets quite scared when he turns around. I, I don't see too. anyone hiding behind the chair, but it's hard to tell because there's something in front of the chair and things look blurry. Colts fan 210 has no idea why the doorbell video is compressed and pixelated. It has never it looked that way before time. or since. Only this one time. Paranormal interference from a spirit in the chair could be one reason why. Okay, so so there's this tech channel from Singapore called Computer Guys, and one of their videos is beyond creepy. Weird things are continuously caught on tape in one of the most unlikely places to ever become haunted, a bare, nondescript server room. is seen on two different security cams and yet the door opens by itself a ghost did it they later say i guess they were having technical problems shortly afterwards because it workers come into the room to run some programs and check wires i've worked at places that have been haunted so i absolutely believe this one um but that can be a story time or something i have so many freaking incidents that I could write a book. I could write a book. Man, I need a story time. A few of them. A few. <laughs> Quite a few. I'm afraid there's, I keep on thinking something's standing right here in no front of this. No sooner do they leave, does the paranormal activity oh, return? Freak. This is. I 
keep on As looking there. As the minutes there. pass, the laptop flips back open right before an IT worker walks in to check some things. Everything looks fine, nothing weird, and then things get scary in a paranormal way. Oh shit, did you see that? A sighting of a ghost on the floor is caught on camera, which is then knocked over. Some paranormal investigators will tell you that electricity attracts the supernatural. Yeah, so it, it makes is. sense that a ghost would haunt a high-voltage server room if that were true. With that said, the whispering at the end does seem a little over the top to be real and makes me wonder if the scary ghost sighting video is legitimate. I've got a challenge for mm. you. I don't know, Since guys. What do you think? This far, why not like this video Dylan and subscribe in the next five seconds? Because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at Dylan is chilling YT and tap that follow button to find out. You can see. Number one. A weird human-like creature stands motionless when caught on camera in the forest. It's not a person wearing red makeup because the arms oh are exceptionally God. thin. It could be a special effects prop. The red figure never moves, so I have trouble believing this creature sighting is real. Yeah. If I'm wrong, then this video shows why the woods of Indonesia are one of the oh. scariest places in the world. Having this it's thing a tribe member. in the forest would be beyond creepy. It's one of those tribe Having members. A ghost sighting in real All right, make sure you guys go check out Chills. He is absolutely one of the best creators I have seen on YouTube. Um, so make sure you check him out. Uh, this is where the video came from. Um, if you like the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It helps the video get recommended to other people so that way our channel can grow. And once I hit a thousand subscribers, I am going to have a, a big giveaway to the most active subscriber on my account. Um, yeah, story times. We're going to have some stories. If you guys want it, I don't know. Maybe you want something else. Tell me what you guys want to see. Tell me if there's a video you want me to watch. Um, I'm working on the couples channel. Uh, so much stuff has come up that it, it was put on a back burner. Um, but you guys are not. So make sure if you're new to the channel that you're hitting that subscribe button and you're hitting the bell. And once you hit that bell, make sure you mark all so that we get notified on all my videos. If you woke up today, you're already winning. I am so freaking high. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. And tired. I just got done working six hours overtime. And then I came here and did a video. Like, mm, I'm dedicated, guys. I'm dedicated. I love you all. If you woke up today, you're already winning. Peace.